Uh, let's go back to the beginning. I want to find out more about your background. So how did you get in this crazy business? Um, well, I, um, going way back, we'll go way back. Um, I, I, I grew up in East Flatbush, Brooklyn, right? Okay. Um, really didn't have any connection or links to the music business at all. My family all came from, uh, worker, you know, a blue collar background, um, carpenters, electricians. Um, my father was a mechanic and a, an air conditioning technician. So, um, so my, my passion for music really just started in my bedroom, listening you know, my father, uh, around 12 years old, um, bought me a stereo component system that, you know, had the, the tuner and the and the eight track and the, the, the phono, uh, all separate cassette deck. And, um, I would just listen to music and listen to music over and over and over and just listening through headphones. And I was just listening to, uh, the amazing effects and, um, mixes and just was super curious on how that was done. So after high school, um, was kind of moving in the direction of, my family, you know, and, and opened up a, a home remodeling business with my brother-in-law and uh, was doing well for a, for a few months. And then just decided, I just saw an ad on TV um, that was advertising a, uh, um, an audio and video school in Miami Beach that an um, that industry vet uh, named Mert Paul um, opened up in, in, in Miami Beach. So, um, I gave a call and within a week, my car was packed and I was on my, on the road to, to Miami, shut everything down and, um, and, and then went to, went to school and started learning, um, audio and video production. And then, um, you know, a lot of what my, my path, my journey through the industry has, has been, a lot, you know, a lot of passion, a lot of hard work, but most importantly, a lot of luck. I've had, I've had some, some really lucky, um, things that have happened. So about halfway through my, my year of courses, um, I had my car, like I said, I packed my car up and went, and went down. Um, a friend of mine that I was taking class with, um, from Connecticut, uh, I didn't know him prior to, to school, but we became friends. He was from Connecticut. Um, he, he was sitting in the office where, uh, the, they'll, you know, the councils will place people in internships and everything. So, so he was, um, he was with her. I popped my head in to say hello. And, um, and she had said to, she said to me, um, Juliana, she said, uh, oh, you have a car, right? And I said, yeah, I have a car. Uh, can you take, can you drive him to, uh, an interview at a studio to be an intern? And I said, sure, of course I'll, I'll, I'll drive him. And, um, so I drove him, I was sitting in the lobby. It was this, the name of the studio was called studio center down in Miami. And so I, um, so I drove him, uh, sitting in the lobby waiting for him. And he was in an interview. He was probably in there for 20, 30 minutes. And when they came out, um, you know, I was reading a magazine. I put the magazine down and I stood up and I said hello to the, the studio manager that was interviewing him. And he asked me, he said, uh, do, you, do you guys go to school together? And, and we said, yeah. So he's like, do you want an internship too? And I said, yeah, of course, I'd love one. So of course, our first, you know, first few days was cleaning, you know, Windexing gold records and platinum records and 